In this video, we will look at how to add multiple files to your Moodle course using the folder resource. A folder resource allows you to display several files with only one link on the front course page. Students then click the link to view the files and download them to their computer. A folder resource will take up less space on the front page of your Moodle course. To add any resource or activity, we need to turn editing on. There are two ways to create a folder resource in your Moodle course. The easiest is to zip your files, then drag and drop the zip file from your computer onto your course page. Ensure editing is on in Moodle and your files are zipped on your computer. To zip your files, select them and then right click. If using Windows, choose Send To, then click Compressed Zip Folder. On Linux, choose Compress, then click As Zip File. On a Mac, choose Compress Items. A zip file is created, which you can then rename. The name of the file will be the default resource name. Once you have your zip file ready, drag it into the section you would like the folder to appear. Moodle will ask you what you would like to do with the file. If you choose to create a file resource, a single resource activity will be created with this zip file as the resource. For SCORM compliant zip files, you can choose Add a SCORM package. In our case, we're going to unzip the files and create a folder. You can rename the folder if you need to using Quick Edit. Click the folder name to view the files. As a teacher, you see an edit button which allows you to edit the files within this folder. You can drag a file into the content area or click an existing file to delete it. You can also click the Add button to view the file picker. From here you can browse your computer or any other repository enabled on your site to add an extra file. If you make changes to this screen you need to save changes. The long method to add a folder resource is to click Add an activity or resource in the section you would like the folder to appear. Select Folder from the Activity Chooser, then click Add. Provide a name for the folder. This appears as a link on the main course page, and is either the heading for the files or the link the students click to view the files. Provide a description for the folder, which will appear above the files, and choose if this is displayed on the main course page. In the content area you can drag and drop files to add them to the folder. If you add a zip file, you can then click that to unzip the files within Moodle. Alternatively, select the files from your computer and drag them over together. Once the file thumbnails appear, they have been uploaded. You can also click the Add button to add files using the file picker. The Display Folder Contents drop-down allows you to choose if the files are displayed on a separate page where students click the folder title and the files display on a separate page, or if you would like the files displayed in an expandable folder icon on the front page of the course. You can also choose if subfolders are shown expanded or if students have to click them to expand manually. The common module settings allow you to choose if the folder is shown or hidden when saved and has a field for you to add an ID number which is used within the gradebook. The Restrict Access and Activity Completion sections allow you to configure who is able to see this folder and how completion is calculated if enabled. Don't forget to save changes. You can see the folder has been added to the course. We also chose to display the description on the course page.